Hey, this is Eric with RegFox, and in this guide, I'm going to show you how to replace WePay with WebConnex Payments to be your payment processor for your RegFox pages. And this is a multi-step process. The first is gonna be adding the new WebConnex Payments as the payment processor into your account. And then the second step is we're going to then map the new payment processor with any open existing RegFox pages, and I'll show you that. The third step, which I'll do in a separate video, is go through the verification process where you set up payout instructions. So this guide, I'm gonna show you how to add WebConnex payments, our new payment processor into your account, and how to remap the payment processor for any open RegFox pages. So first thing we're gonna go do is up here to the gear, we're gonna go over to payment processors, and here we see that WePay is my payment processor, and it's tied to nine published pages. So that's what we need to do with the change. And so we're gonna go here, hit credit card as a payment processor, and then we're gonna choose the first option here, which is WebConnex Payments. And it's gonna ask for a reference name. So you can put in WebConnex Payments there. Then hit Next. And now this is going to set up the basic information here. And this is the only thing you need to complete in order to go live with payments right now. This is the first step, and then we can complete the verification step later, but once we do this screen, I can then go remap any open registration pages with the new payment processor, and it'll start processing payments. So this is the first step here. It's gonna have the legal business name, then the entity type, so if you're a nonprofit or an LLC or C Corp, you're gonna choose organization there, or if you're a sole proprietor, choose that. And then this industry code is not necessarily the industry that your organization is in, it's really about the kinds of industries that you're doing events with. And so think about the events you're hosting and which one of these categories best suits that. So you're gonna choose one here and then complete the basic information about you, email, business phone number, and website, and that will then be all you need to do to start accepting payments on existing registration pages after we map this is your new payment processor. And again, I'll show you the verification process in a second step. But let me complete this now and I'll show you what happens after you hit save here. All right, so I've completed my information and then we're gonna hit save. And this will now register my organization and it will initially prompt me to complete the verification steps here. But we can come back and do this at another time. So in this screen here, it's going to ask me to add my organization details, the decision makers, and then payout details, and just some simple things with the PCI agreements that are required with the card brands. So this is gonna be hosted in a separate video where I'll guide you through all of this, but if you don't wanna do this right now, no problem, just hit back to this little button here, and this will take you back to your account, and it'll show us that WebConnect Payments is now successfully added to my account. I can come back here and complete the onboarding anytime I want later, but now what we have to do is we have to go remap any open registration pages with the new payment processor. And to do that, we're gonna go hit edit on a registration page. We're gonna let this open up. Then we're gonna go to settings and go down to payment methods. And in here, we see that there's a credit card processor and it's register as we pay. We're gonna go over here and hit the trash can icon and type delete that we really mean it. And so now that's removed. Then you hit add payment method and we're gonna add the WebConnex payments in there. We're gonna save and now payments will be routed through the new WebConnex payment processor like we want and that is set. So once that's there, you have to hit publish and that is all you need to do. So any existing registration pages that are gonna be processing payments now, you need to do this for every single page. So that is the process there. And again, I will show you the verification process in another video here shortly and we'll catch you on that one soon. Thanks for watching.